Welcome, mortals, to a special Kaiju Noir Halloween commentary. Even the wind is afraid. So, for the first movie, it is a 1968 gothic horror film from Carlos Enrique Taboada, also written by Carlos Enrique Taboada. Uh, this film is widely regarded as a cult classic in Mexico. It came out during a time when the horror genre was kind of experiencing a huge lull, and this film kind of single-handedly reinvigorated the horror genre in that country. Uh, pretty much like around that time, the only kind of horror movies in Mexico that were coming out were like creature features or just like blood and gore type of films, uh, kind of relied on shock value and then a lot of like visceral material. This film, however, leaned far more into the sort of psychological horror, focusing more on suspense, beautiful scenery. It took things in a much more subtle direction, I like to say, compared to its uh, contemporaries. And uh, it was a movie that terrified a lot of people back in the day. And in fact, I wouldn't have known about this movie had it not been for my mom, dad, and several of our family friends who all pretty much grew up watching this movie on television um, back then, pretty much all of the, of the people I would say in their like uh, 40s and 50s would say that this was one of the scariest movies that they ever saw growing up. Um, that was right until, of course, movies like The Exorcist eventually came down south and terrorized a new generation of people. Uh, I'm very excited to share this film with you guys. And uh, I guess I'll just ask you guys if you are all set to watch Even the Wind is Afraid. Yes, it's spooky. <laughs> in three two one go <laughs> it was almost like the orion logo is that the one that has oh the yeah that's right yeah 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 <laughs> you must go to the Dagobah system. There you will see my master Yoda. We're just feet. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I thought she had a weird like foot fetish thing or something. <laughs> So these are like relatively well-known people? Uh, that I'm not quite sure, but I do know that some of these actors do appear in the next movie that we'll be watching mm -hmm. tonight. When I read the title, it made me think of what's that M. Night Shyamalan movie where it's like the wind is the villain? Oh, uh, The Happening. Yeah. Oh. So it's interesting to see movies that have like all the credits first. Like I wonder when they transition yeah. from that to the other where where it makes more sense that they're all at the end. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that does make a lot of sense. Uh, I do forget as well, um, especially by the late 60s, you would have thought that they would have saved those credits till the very end, I think.
<laughs> oh yeah, and she's going to be the troublemaker of the bunch. Is she an adult child? Or is she an adult? <laughs> so it's it's never exactly stated if they're like college students or high school students, but I'm assuming they're just <laughs> they're, they're just schoolgirls in general. Why are they so short though? Like the doorknob was like up to their chest. I think it's because they're Mexican, Laura. <laughs> it just is installed non-Mexican height doors <laughs> in Mexico. Yes. <laughs> That's really inconsiderate of the Mexican builders who built them. <laughs> I think you mean hung You're like no 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 <laughs> <laughs> bitch shut up i think we call that being a whore <laughs> uh so the one with the dark hair she's the tattletaler mm. It always just amazes me how little their hair actually moves. Like, that's just so much hairspray. Mm. <laughs> that is true. Like, her hair looks like a mini version of the Mars Attacks lady's hair. Oh, I can see that, yeah. I think you're going to see a few more of those, like, beehive hairstyles very soon oh. with the teachers. So much, so much hairspray and teasing. <laughs> Like, it was the late 60s. Nobody cared about the environment. <laughs> no. She's fainted like five times. <laughs> when should we be considering putting her in a in an asylum? <laughs> she said she wanted to vote. We can't. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> that is pretty much her personality to a T. <laughs> I feel like they hired just enough girls to make it look like there could be a school. They're like, you go lay in the grass over there. <laughs> I'm like, you hang out by that tree over there. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> I want to go. It kind of reminds me of like that one um, Junji Ito manga where there's there's all those like human shaped holes on the oh side God, of the mountain. Oh God, I hate People that are, like, one. Compelled to put themselves into that hole. It's like it's my <laughs> hole. I feel like it's calling to me. Oh God! I think that was the first one of his I read because Nick was like, "I found this," and I'm like, ah. and then just like fucking stayed with me forever. I was like, no. 
And then he bought all of them, and I had to see all of them. And he's like, "Look at this grease one." I'm like, "Stop!" Uh, stop, stop. <laughs> oh, the grease one. <laughs> I remember the grease one. That's probably like the most sickening one. Yeah. Oh, there's so many. I did finally recently read all of Uzumaki, and I can see why it's considered like his most popular work. Which one is that one? Uh, the one with all the spirals. Oh, God. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> You do it. <laughs> now let's split up and search for clues. <laughs> it makes clown honking noises when I step on it. Honk, <laughs> honk. I wonder if that was like the, is that like the standard school uniform? I probably want to say so, because I have like vague recollections of looking at certain or seeing certain modern day or at least modern day, like 20 years ago, school uniforms in elementary school and middle school um, back in, in uh, Tijuana, I think. And they look pretty close to this. I want to say it's like a very European style. Oh, You just kind of get used to like the sailor outfits, like the the Jap. Oh, it seems so weird. It seems so creepy. You'd be like, mm. I'm really familiar with the Japanese school girl outfits. It's like, no, I'm not actually. I'm just vaguely aware. Ah. <laughs> like, why does everyone look like they're in the navy? <laughs> Do you think she makes them stand up by height every time they come in? Like poor short girl always has to be at the end. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> The doors Stop are so with your tight. panic attacks. Oh, God. <laughs> Mental health won't be a concern for us for another 50 or 60 years. And even then, you'll still get laughed at. You're like, oh. <laughs> we'll just put you on lithium and give you a cold bath all the time. You're like, oh, God. <laughs> It's like back then, the answer for mental for like a mental health crisis would just simply boil down to the Michael Jordan, stop it, get some help. <laughs> and by help, we mean lobotomies. Yes, yes. You're hysterical. You're like, I was just having a slight panic attack. You're like, why don't you keep slapping me? Stop slapping me. <laughs> I'm not crazy. That's what I... It works for Batman. He punches <laughs> the crazy out of his criminals. They're like how they all started showering at the same time. So they're all at the same stage. It's not like they all just kind of like showed up at different times. Cover yourself up. This ain't no R-rated film. 
I was just wondering, I'm like, is there gonna no? So I can look at it. <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to say that out loud. Carmando. <laughs> We've been in school for the last five years. Just so graduate two years ago. <laughs> Foreshadowing. <laughs> so it is written. So it shall be done. <laughs> now, I want to say I've heard of this premise before where, like, students are asked to stay for the summer, but I can't quite put my finger on it. Oh, is it the summer or just like a spring vacation? Oh, it could be a spring break. Yeah. But I could have sworn that, like, at some point... There was like another story about students staying at school for like the summer or like the winter yeah. break or some other break. Like for whatever reason, I keep thinking of the Breakfast Club, but I know that's just for like one single Saturday, I think. That makes more sense than the fact that I kept thinking of Free Willy for some reason. And I'm like, that's not. <laughs> yeah. Like that kid doesn't stay at at a high school. He stays at at a, at a Sea World. <laughs> Foreshadow. <laughs> this is school where individual individuality comes to die. Yes. I wanted some chicken nuggies. <laughs> it must be spring break. It was like 10 days or something, so she said. Oh, I think so, yeah. <laughs> I forgot what it was called where, like, do you remember when they would have certain students who perform who underperformed in classes? They would have like summer school for that, but then like they would also have, I think, like I think it was called spring intermission and S fall intermission. Oh. Intercession? I think it was intercession. I don't think we had anything. We never, because we didn't have summer school. Oh, okay. But you did either we have like, students like... like being forced to stay for like the summer or fall breaks? No. Um, You could either, I forgot what it's called. You would either do like normal high school, but if, or if you were having trouble, you went to remedial high school, which was like a... G mm. so you would like get bumped 
down into that, but I don't, I don't think there was ever like summer school or ketchup school. Oh, what's what is it called mm-hmm. in Japan where they do like the the ketchup school or something? Oh, uh, a cram school. Yeah, yeah. I don't. We never had anything. I think we had anything like that. Our schools probably weren't as big as yours because, like, I remember Nick had like. I forgot how many hundreds of people mm-hmm. he had in his class. I think we only had like 118 kids in my graduating class, I think. Oh, okay. There wouldn't like there wouldn't be enough kids to like justify having that much of a school, like a summer school or mm-hmm. something like that. How many people were in your graduating class? Yeah. Oh, I can't remember. <laughs> I'm guessing it was quite <laughs> definitely large. more than than what was it, a hundred? Yeah. yeah. Maybe like 150, but yeah, I don't our graduation wasn't very long. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Those are some nightgowns. Yeah. It's always funny to watch these older movies because it's like the things that they put in more modern movies to make people look old or like what these people are wearing to look like normal. Mm -hmm. Like that's the old lady dress. Mm -hmm. Like that's not an old lady. (laughs) Oh, (laughs) why is Tilda Swinton upstairs? There's not an ounce of hairspray to be seen. (laughs) 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 Goji Shay say it was Rapunzel. You slut. <laughs> now, where's my anti horny stick? <laughs> Good night, teacher. (laughs) You know, I'm thinking maybe the tall doors is perhaps like a style of like mansion style architecture. They're just so tall. Maybe it's like a sign of social status. Oh, maybe. Armando. This is before people ate with their phones in their hands. <laughs> Just stared longingly at a Polaroid. <laughs> it's like, damn, bitch, I was just eating. <laughs> Mm 
So by keeping these girls here, did they essentially take away the vacation of the other lady as well? Uh, the, the, other... Uh, the teacher? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hmm. 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 Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Acting. <laughs> this took me 45 minutes to tie. <laughs> How many like D batteries are in that thing? Oh god. <laughs> I'm gonna guess 20? <laughs> yeah, Jesus. It's one of those like heavy duty, like super powerful uh flashlights where you can like bludgeon someone to death with. <laughs> Maybe back then it probably probably now would be like just a weak one. Yeah. That's a different flashlight. crazy to think how much stuff people had, had just like laying around before we had like our phones to have all of our correspondence in. Yeah. <laughs> let me let me consult my messages. <laughs> <laughs> the classic cat fake out. <laughs> Armando. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. If, I wouldn't be surprised if that's the actor's headshot. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, does he show up later? Oh, uh, yeah. It looks very bright outside for being the middle of the night. Hmm. I guess it's to cast cast like a nice little silhouette around the character. Oh, I think I think it was like the delay. It was like the outside the window when she was looking at the stuff. It looked like it was like oh. daytime outside. Oh, gotcha. Okay. This part looks gotcha. like it's nighttime. This part makes sense. The other part was kind of like I think that's a day for night. <laughs> I just can't imagine having to reach my hand that far up to open a door. I don't know if that's all. That seems lazy, but like. <laughs> mm -hmm. No. <gasps> well, Claudia, what are you looking at? Oh. I imagine like she'd pull like a mommy dearest on her. <laughs> no more of my no pictures. <laughs> Ever. She's not dead now, or not not dead, right, guys? And then she just leaves. <laughs> oh, but she's like, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't the keys in the thing? There we go. I was getting a extra no, homework ready. No. Just that is fine. <laughs> Just what I want. <laughs> yeah, because you're a bitch and you make me scared. <laughs> <laughs> I was scared of you. I mean, I was scared by you. Um, mommy. Like an alien. <laughs> huh. 
We're going to have the best split pea soup you've ever had. <laughs> you tell me what those bitches were talking about. Hmm. <laughs> They just look like them. I was just thinking that kind of Charlie's Angels as they were walking. Yeah. In. <laughs> Hello, Charlie. <laughs> Hello. Which... Hello, Beehive Trio. <laughs> oh, I know it's just the one. Which one of you is Kristen Stewart? <laughs> Who are the other two? Kristen Stewart and did anybody actually ever see that movie? I remember watching the ones with Cameron oh, I, the Diaz. new one. I I didn't. because <sighs> the other one is Cameron Diaz, Lucy Liu, and Drew Barrymore. Yes. And then the other one is mm -hmm. Kristen Stewart and two other people. <laughs> Who is the director? I think she was like an actor turned director. I don't know. I feel like that's like a weird fever dream that I don't know if it actually happened. Yeah. Is one of them like Zoe, like the Lenny Kravitz daughter? Is that one of them? Oh, I bet you one of them is. Ella Belinska? That's the person who directed it? Jane Kano? I don't, I don't know who any of those people are. Uh, Naomi Scott? Nope. Is Elena? Yeah, I have no clue who any of these people are. Patrick Stewart's in it. Well, why is Patrick Stewart in it? Did he know He's he was Bosley. in it? Bosley? Yeah. <laughs> the fuck? Anyway, on to better movies. <laughs> Dad's pitch. <laughs> one of us. One of one us. Of us. Oh, Elizabeth Banks. She's the director of that 2019 Charlie's Angels. Oh. I feel like I can see her face, but I can't name anything that she's in. <laughs> oh, it's that type of dancing. This Same. Is like the style at the time dancing. I don't think everyone did that dance. Oh, it's, I, I feel like we're watching. What is that American Bandstand? Where they're yes. just like. <laughs> it, what? This really is a girl's school. <laughs> <laughs> With Dixie's version of Heather's. <laughs> I wonder if this oh, is. Oh, now I've been deflowered. Suspiria before Suspiria's movie. Is that what's going to happen? I think Suspiria came out a year or two after this one, the original one. I thought Suspiria was in the 70s. Very early 70s? I think he said this was 60. You said this was 68? Or 64? 68, yeah. Okay. Suspiria and uh, Goji Shea just said, I was going to say this seems like the 60s version of Heathers. <laughs> I 
Now, funny, the funny thing is, when my uh, parents showed me this movie earlier this year, I think we saw it around New Year's. She told me that uh, my mom told me that she never remembered seeing this on television. So I'm thinking, <laughs> OK, guess you must must have seen like the safer work TV cut. <laughs> we can't show the the dance number. Oh, I was going to say the thigh. What are they called? The nylons? Oh, no, no, there's like a whole strip tease going on here. And it's this scene that I'm kind of glad that we're watching the movie on our own and not putting it up on YouTube. <laughs> I mean, you can watch the movie on YouTube, but, you know, YouTube's copyright is super weird and inconsistent. I feel like we might be a little behind. Because <laughs> she's been, like, awkwardly dancing for, like, five minutes. <laughs> Oh no, she. Oh no, she's she's been. It's the same on my end. It's just I know where this is going. Oh okay, I was just like, oh, who? That cut was great. <laughs> she just looked at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> She's like this. She's like this doing anything for you? Like, no. I just can't get over that the clothes look like old granny clothes. <laughs> why, why is she... I like how obviously none of them want this. Yeah. And this woman just like, nope. <laughs> well she wants it only they've only shown one person who's been like yeah i want the whole school girl experience i guess for this time this must have been a very risque thing uh -huh. oh yeah probably i guess it depends because there's always like those ups and downs like there was always like the part like into the late 60s in america there was like the late 60s yeah. where they had like the go-go dancers on tv and then like they had the oh, hard yeah. upturn so there's That's always true. like ups and downns although anytime i think of it i, I guess like I go to america and i'm like oh well there can't be anything here. no yeah i guess like the late 60s would have been like during the sexual revolution in america yeah Because they had like the 1930s where they had like the jazz explosion and then they had like very conservative 40s and 50s and then like 60s and 70s and then a very conservative 80s and 90s and then right. I don't know what it's gone faster and faster. So I'd say we're probably mm -hmm. on the on like we're on a turn of conservator or cons conservativeness. Like, yeah. Like Hmm. In the twenties and thirties, when like, oh boy, she showed a bit of her ankle. She must be some kind of harlot. No, oh, that was the thirties. <laughs> that was I said twenties and thirties. That was close. Maybe that would have been. Yeah, I guess. No, you're right. That would have been the first one. That would have been like the the uh, before they were like, let's have jazz um, dinners. Yeah. It was like the upturn of like the whole jazz fashion in the 20s and 30s was because women actually took over making their own clothing for the first time in history. So they're like, we don't have to wear this shit. Like, no, you don't wear whatever you want. So uh, the teacher just mentioned that the ghost girl used to be a student at the school who killed herself when she was told to stay like during the spring or summer break while her mom was sick. And when she heard the news that her mother passed away and she was not allowed to go home, she ended up 
falling into a uh, what do you call it? Like she ended up like killing herself, like a deep depression kind because of her thing. mother was pretty much all she had left. Yeah, deep, yeah, yeah, deep depression because her mother was all she had left in her life. Oh my god, is it a man? <laughs> Oh. oh. I love how the answer in all of film history is like, we'll give them gray hair and they'll look old. Yeah. Old. What we got so far, these girls are all in a house of some kind, of some kind and I'm guessing they're going to get killed one by one by the ghost. I wonder how many movies have that same plot yeah. synopsis. <laughs> That's 4 or 5 two said the woman that did Charlie's Angels reboot also did Cocaine Bear. Oh yeah, my mom really liked that movie. Cocaine bear. Yeah, she keeps telling me really? that we should watch it. Yeah. <laughs> Very weird recommendation. <laughs> like, I think you really like it. It's the greatest movie of all time. <laughs> uh, she didn't say that. <laughs> weird point of reference. I think my mom's favorite movie is Fried Green Tomatoes. So it's really weird that she would say, like, you guys should watch Cocaine Bear. Hmm. See? That is a very random assortment on that man's mantle. Yeah. He's got a wine bottle <laughs> and some taxidermy. <laughs> and then a, a jaunty <laughs> basket. <and> basket. Yeah. <laughs> and a rake. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's to show he's a working man. Yeah. He's like, I like to harvest with my <laughs> basket. What a bird that is. <laughs> you just going to leave? <laughs> Was she there when the other student was there or just the other lady? I think they were all there before when the I student really killed see. herself. They look nothing alike, but I have a hard time telling the difference between her and the other lady. <laughs> that was the case for me when I first saw this movie. But then I remembered that the headmistress, her hair is darker. I keep thinking that too, but then I'm like, well, maybe and the other one has blonde hair. And I'm like, no, that's the, the nice one. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I get that same kind of paranoia as ever since I moved back home. So it's like nowadays when I'm walking the middle of the night in America, I start to feel afraid as well. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Like walking around Japan in the middle of the night is like nothing compared to doing the same in the U.S. I mean, it's even different parts. I remember not feeling like cool in Vegas, but here I, it's like in Iowa, I'm more scared being like attacked by a raccoon randomly than like being jumped in the parking lot like I was in Vegas.
I remember the like when we because I moved to Vegas. It was me, my sister, and her her husband at that time, and it was mm-hmm. we got we got there at night, and there was like helicopters everywhere, like searching where her her apartment mm. was. And I'm like, is this all the time? And then we're like, yeah. And then there was this open lot, and somebody had murdered this girl and left her body in the lot, and they didn't find it. Oh. And, we had driven by where this, like, I think she was a high school student. And it was like, this is the first day we got mm-hmm. there. And it was like the adjacent lot next to the apartment mm-hmm. that we moved into. We're like, what the fuck are we doing? Like, why did we do this? Why did we... <laughs> I'm going to go back to Iowa, man. This is. <laughs> we have to live here for 12 more years. Mistakes have Iowa. been made. Yeah, but it was like, <laughs> like this is insane. Or to resurrect like an old ass meme from the ancient days of YouTube. It was at this moment that Laura knew she fucked up. Yeah, pretty much. I should have went to this town at least once before I moved here, but no. <laughs> I just thought it'd be fun just to show up. And then there's a dead girl in the lot next to us. We had like taken the dogs for a walk afterward, and then that's what somebody had found her was doing the same thing. And we're like, oh my God. <laughs> awesome. You can't be here. <laughs> it's been there for three hours. I got to ask. <laughs> she looks like a Scarlett Johansson. The bald one. Mm. Her. Her. <laughs> the worst game of charades I've ever played. Don't you only have one spleen? I think you only have one spleen, right? Occasionally, individuals are born with more than one. Oh, maybe that's why she's confused. Yes. She's like, I have two. Could you teach me English? Mm -hmm. Like, what? (laughs) Can you teach me how to read? (laughs) That was the best joke, and that was at the Red Lender Media video. When they have the guy from the boys there, yeah. and Jack's like, Can you teach me how to read? <laughs> <laughs> you bet. These are all just such old people names, too. You bet. <laughs> Claudia. Oh. All right. What's a boyfriend? It's been a while. That's not what I thought I was reading for a second. What did she say? Not like that. That's a real boyfriend, not like that hippie. I I guess like she knows someone, but like she sees him as like a deadbeat, maybe. I I thought I saw not like that nipples. And I was like, what is happening? (laughs) Nipple? (laughs) 
I just got here. Why are you asking if I'm coming later? <laughs> Calm down. My ascot will protect me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I brought my Great Dane with me as well. <laughs> Good, then I'll stay in the tower. I won't be the first to die. Maybe coming here wasn't a good idea. <laughs> Oh, man, I thought coming to an all-girls school was going to rock. <laughs> I've just got a hunchback and a watchtower. Ghost. At least he didn't try to sleep with her. <laughs> oh, usually they don't talk back.
Did her hair color and style change while she was in the wind? Hmm. That was like a whole different. I wouldn't have thought she was the first one to die. There's mm -hmm. person not dead. Oh, never mind. Yeah, that's not what I thought was going to happen. If this was an American movie, it would have been Kitty because she's yeah. the slut. <laughs> right. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, we got our title drop. Oh. <laughs> Uh, to answer your question, JF, uh, the one who died is the one who was getting visions of the ghost from the beginning of the movie, since the beginning of the movie. The one they were giving, like, main girl energy to is the one that is dead now. <laughs> He's like, this feels right. I am now a Mexican bulldog. <laughs>
Oh. Okay, or, or that one guy is just kind of a shit. I guess he was even a doctor. He was just the gardener. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like groundskeeper Willie. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. send you my bill. <laughs> <laughs> the lawsuits alone. Do they say what part is this in what part of Mexico this is in? Or is it just kind of Mexico? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah. I just realized their school outfits cut. They're like Western looking, aren't they? I was going to say, well, hers kind of looked like the Colonel ripped it off. Yeah, it reminds me of like old, uh, like That's Southern cute. charm Western wear. Oh, so she's the other lady. Mm hmm. What was her name? Uh, Andrea? Andrea? No. Uh, Andrea, yeah. Andrea. At what? Am uh, uh, she's like, wait a minute, we didn't even study those classes yet. But you don't buy the Hello Kitty lock. <laughs> and I don't have a home. <laughs> I kept expect expecting Kaido to show up and fight Dr. Gil's monsters in these. So it doesn't state on the uh, Wikipedia, either the Spanish or English version uh, article. And uh, but I do know that this is supposed to be a boarding school. Okay. What's, is there a difference between boarding school and private school? Or is boarding school just that you stay there? I'm assuming so, yeah. Because uh, I guess in Vegas they had private schools, didn't they? But those yeah. are just the ones that you paid you to, go, pay to, to go to. Yeah.
did they have like the magnet school system when you were in high school in California? I don't remember Nick would have uh, that. What's, what's the magnet it? school? Is that what it's called? Um, I know magnet was, um, no, that was gate. Yeah, it was magnet schools for high school. It's like you got to pick a type of high school to go to. Like Nick went to the technology oh. high school. Oh, I guess I've, I've never heard of those. I didn't know if it was like a bigger city thing. So I didn't know if you had that too. Hmm. Because I remember in, in Vegas, it's like a, you can only live, if you live in certain places, you can get into them. So a lot of people are like moved to certain places in Vegas so they can get their kid into like the music one. Or yeah. The... Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, we do have that system in California as well, where you can only go to the school that's within your area. But yeah, and, and I mean, that's how it is here. But like there you could pick. There were so many, there was different high schools you could pick within your area. They had different mm. special specializations on what they could teach. Yeah. Did, did your brother go to one? No, he just wanted to go to normal school. Oh. <laughs> the school I went to had the name of my city in it. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be really weird if you didn't know that she was playing the piano. <laughs> What's that? Oh. I didn't realize it was the handrail the whole time. I thought there was a knife in her back and she was playing music. Yeah, what type of little bird was that? Was that like a? There was a bird. Yeah, earlier when she had the bird. Oh yeah. There... Oh. Yeah. I think yeah. I was There's a bird that died in in Claudia's ha hands. Oh, I love in all the movies throughout all the countries. There's always like the one lady. It's just like obviously it's not ghosts. It's that people <laughs> need to be yelled at more. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And I love how, like, when she thought Claudia died, she's like, 
you know what? Maybe I have been a bitch this whole time. No, she's and alive. She came okay. back to life. It's like, oh, no consequences. <laughs> no consequences for my actions. I've learned Obviously, nothing. I'm right. <laughs> Ray pissed off that cat. <laughs> I kind of hit my head when I fell down <laughs> that entire thing. <laughs> So she's taking it out on everyone else? Probably. <laughs> I'm no Claudia no more. I was loving these movies when the people are like woken up from sleeping, their hair still just looks perfect. Mm -hmm. Just like I have robes. Right. <laughs> Drastic. Tomorrow. Minyana? Minyana. <laughs> For God's sake, stop acting so goddamn spooky. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dramatic way to look. Yeah. <laughs> you can go now. <laughs> the doorknobs are so high. It bothers me so much. I want everyone to know the doorknob height when they enter a door <laughs> and laugh for this. Because <laughs> that is really high. Claudia would never have stroked that curtain before. <laughs> she never had an interest in ropes before. <laughs> That was definitely an Andrea thing. <laughs> I was going to say the only one who was an avid rope collector was. <laughs> I can feel it now. <laughs> Try 
trying to hold back this ghost feeling <laughs> for so long. Is it Lucia? Is that how you'd say that one? Or Lucretia? No, it's yeah. Lucia. Yeah. No. I feel like in these older movies, it's very brave to have like a ginormous mirror because it's like, I feel like that's more likely to have something like reflected back that you don't want other people to see. Hmm. This is just we just need more discipline. More discipline. <laughs> It'll get better. Now where are my wire hangers? <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> that rope is school property. <laughs> Like, no, I think we're good. I think we're. Huh. <laughs> that'd, be fu that'd be funny if she's so used to being a ghost, she just ran into the door. <laughs> she's like, oh, that's right. <laughs> 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 like immediately after she starts eating and drinking she's like oh god I forgot what it was like to go to the bathroom again <laughs> <laughs> she's like yep food here still sucks she's like oh to the no why why <laughs> That's worse than like running upstairs in a horror movie because they had to leave the building to go to yeah. another building to then run up the stairs. What's your favorite horror movie, Andres? Mine? Yeah. Oh, it's uh, John Carpenter's The Thing. Nice. 
Nick. Um. There's so many. Yeah. I thought it would be Return of the Living Dead. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if that's a horror movie. Say, I don't know if we count it as a horror that's movie. That's like saying Erner Scared Stupid is a horror movie. <laughs> if that counts, then is that. If it doesn't count because it's mostly a comedy, not a good comedy, but it's mostly a comedy. <laughs> it's fantastic. Yeah. Pro- Probably just the original Night of Living Dead then. Hmm. You like Get Out. You like Get Out? Yeah, that's, that's my favorite. That's a good one. I just like a movie that takes all the horror things and makes them make sense. <laughs> Where like the dude's like, I'm not running upstairs. I'm like, thank you. Thank you. Is this a Quentin Tarantino movie? (laughs) (laughs) Then we're just done seven more close-ups and like angle shots of the feet as it's going around. Claudia, wiggle your big toe. Now your index toe. (laughs) This dude is the worst doctor. He's just always very happy. (laughs) People are dead. People are dead who are supposed to be dead. He's like, yep, I can confirm that that woman is indeed not alive. (laughs) Maybe. (laughs) I'm going to give you a two for one dead woman because I kind of messed up that other one. (laughs) Oh, Godiche, do you mean the the first color remake in I Loving Dead? If that's the one you mean, that one is actually really good. I do like that one. How old is that one? Wasn't there one made by Tom Savini? Yeah, I think it's in, it's in the 70s. No, maybe it's in the 80s. Let's see. Yeah, it's in the 1990? It is 1990. Is it the Tom Savini one? Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah. What was the zombie one where they're in the mall, but it was more recent, so it was like another take on it? Candyman is one of the main characters. Yes. The oh, the one with the mall, that's uh, Dawn of the Dead. Oh, okay. Which is um, Zack Snyder doing oh, the remake. Was? Yeah. I don't know why, but me and my brother saw that in the theater, and like neither of us really liked that kind of thing. I don't know why. I think we were just <laughs> trying to go see a movie. But yeah, it was just like, why are we here? They're eating. <laughs> but, but the funniest thing is, like, it, the mall was called Crossroads Mall, and that was the mall that we were at to see oh. the movie theater. And we're like, that's not what our mall looks <laughs> oh. like. And now that mall's dead. <laughs> and now it's not coming back. Now it is the dawn of the dead. Now it's a zombie mall. Ooh. <laughs> It'd be kind of funny if that movie, if this movie just like ends with, like, I killed the horrible headmistress. <laughs> And that's it. You're like, okay. Armando. Damn, she has poolside off on it. Is that the hairspray? Okay, yeah. He's just sweeping the lawn. I know they had rakes. This is not that old of a movie. <laughs> Maybe that's the way of also showing that he's older. Other than the dyed gray hair is to give him a broom.
So she caught you again? Wait, what? Yeah. Oh. Oh, so that was the end of the movie. Yeah. Oh. Yes. That's great. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> the so real villain was the housewife all along, or the house lady all along. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so like once the ghost got her revenge, then she just let go of, of, of her possession of Gla- Claudia. Oh, wow. I like that. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. I'm really glad you did. Uh, you know, a lot of people, uh, some people in the chat, they were expecting like this is going to be one of those movies where all the girls get killed off one by one. But instead, the movie is really more about just one a ghost having revenge revenge on one particular individual. So, because the whole time I'm so used to like very convoluted horror movies where I thought it was going to like turn out that Andrea was like killed by the like, groundskeeper and the other lady, and then it was like, but mm-hmm. no, it was very simple and it was beautiful. I, I really like it. It's like, like you said, it's a very simple, straightforward story, but at the same time, it takes like a few twists and turns that you don't really see coming, and that's why I think it makes this movie v- pretty special. And uh, yeah, and it, I guess like for most movies out there, they would do go the method of, oh, you know, the monster or the ghost or whatever takes something. Um, picks off the cast one by one and i guess that must have been the thing that was popular at the time and that's what made this movie a breath of fresh air for people in mexico where they're like oh it's not just like a bloodbath it's just something that's more based on suspense and mystery than it is on a bloody body count well it's kind of funny when you're so used to that that the whole time you're just like the whole i'm like trying to figure out who's gonna die first and then, like, nobody was dying. And I'm like, right. I feel like these bitches got to start dying pretty soon. And it's just like, no, <laughs> only one person. Only died. one of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and yeah, that is even the wind is afraid in a nutshell. This is like the happiest so, uh, ending. Like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's just the weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's great. like basically the, the ending is <laughs> ding dong. The bitch is dead. The bitch yeah. is dead. The bitch is dead. <laughs> And the nice teacher ends up becoming the new mistress yeah. of the school. Oh, that's... <laughs> Everyone comes out of it in a better position. Scarred for life, but in a better position. 